New York. Welcome to New York. New York makes it a little difficult on you for taxes because they got a lot of them. That's right. Well, I did update New York for 2023, continuing on this track, getting through all 50 states and the District of Columbia. So thank you, New York State, for issuing 2023 guidance. Thank you. Sorted through everything. Let's talk about what you need to do. So first thing, your employee has to fill out the IT 2104, very oddly named form that is the withholding allowance certificate for New York. It's going to ask about being a resident of New York City or Yonkers because there's separate tax rates that apply for those city residents. Um, it's going to ask for a number of allowances. So where are you going to put that information in the payroll and Google Sheets payroll and Excel application that I build if, if you purchase one or if you just want to know how to calculate this yourself? You'll need to get the number of allowances from the IT you know, 2104, any city, Yonkers or, or New York City. And I can have you actually choose the city here. Um, there are cities for all different cities all across the country. So it's really annoying to sort. But for New York, you can actually just type in the name of the city and it will, it will change essentially what it does. So it knows that and it'll give you an error if you spell it wrong. So you'll eventually find it. So when you're doing New York, um, basically other things that you need to fill out, even though we want this to be NYC for our example, because we're going to test that rate. So NYC is how you do New York City. The other thing that you need to work on is you don't care about Arizona or Connecticut at all, but what you do care about is you care about New York City PFI and SDI designations, as well as the New York filing status of whether it's married or single, or uh, I believe those are the only two that were available, right? Was there a, uh, a married but withhold at single rate actually is the other option, which is available here when you scroll and look through the list. So what about this PFI and SDI thing? What's going on here before we get into the rates? So there's paid family leave, there's state disability, and then there's neither, meaning depending on the size of your business and certain requirements, you may be required to withhold some of this from your employees' pay or contribute some from your company for either of these rates. Now, the paid family leave rate changed this year, and it went down to 0.455%, but 00455. So it's not 4.5%, it's 0. 0.4, 0. 0.455%, right? So it went down a little bit. So the, the paid family leave is lower. State disability, I believe, has been unchanged. So you need to choose if any of these apply to this employee. And it's going to change stuff that's on the pay stub here. It's going to change whether or not you're withholding things like paid family leave or state disability right here, okay? For example, let's assume that there's no... Um, that there's no paid family for this employee and it's just an SDI is the only thing that you have, state disability. That will change withholding. So now how do we do the rates? Like what's going on? Um, what is updated besides the reduction in paid family leave rate? What about, you know, what has happened with New York? So we're gonna go into the New York area of the big, huge cube of all our payroll data. And New York did update rates slightly. And they did actually make a few, I mean, they're not super significant changes, but they are changes nonetheless. So where they are is, this is New York City. Let's look at New York State. They uh, adjusted their rates and the exact formula method can be found after you get all your exemptions straight, can be found right here for annualized single. So it's this area right here. Um, and you just program this rate. And if you're making over a million dollars a year single, then there's another maximum rate that you get hit with, which is like 11.7%. So I have formulated that right in here is, is what that nested if formula is. And it, and it does say anyone making over, um, yeah, over that last million seventy seven thousand five hundred and fifty would be taxed at 11.7%. I didn't do that. There's a couple other layered, um, rates actually for the super rich that they have down here it's kind of funny they're way at the bottom on like the last page these are the second to last page these are the extra super rich rates is they get you between 10.45 and 11.7 percent so i just said if you're using my payroll file and you're making more than a million dollars a year you can just tax yourself at 
seven percent. Don't worry, don't worry about the difference here because uh, you're you're that's crazy. It's like nobody's making that much money. So it's funny though. So you you can program that right like right there. The married one is right here. If you want to see what the married one looks like, um, and it works. And then it figures out which filing status the person was, and it does also the New York City rates which uh, haven't been updated since 2018, but are right here. And I believe are not changing as well, but if they change, we will certainly find out. And so that's what New York City is. And we don't have Yonkers programmed. Uh, I haven't overlaid Yonkers rates, but for anyone who's using this in New York City, we'll trim the file down and I'll add the Yonkers section as well. I just haven't looked for it and nobody's asked. So that's how you do this. Um, I mean, it's you get your city tax here if they're a city resident. If they're not a city resident, all you have to do is just clear the information about city. Be like, all right, they're not they're in the upstate, you know, they're living in Albany. That there's no tax for that. So all of a sudden everything's gonna change. You're gonna go back to the pay stub, that local tax is gonna have disappeared, right? And this is what wages are and, and how everything works. So New York for, for 2023, it is a tough one. It is a busy one. Um, there's just a lot going on in New York with the, the paid family leave and the state disability. But um, this does provide enough to, to do it in whatever your situation is. And we can always adjust it if you need this to do something else because it absolutely works. So there you go. New York is now, New York is now done revised as of January 2023 because they have released those rates. Awesome. We are moving on to Ohio, which has a lot of different counties, if I remember correctly, for local tax. You know how I know that? By clicking on the arrow here under local and looking at all the ones that begin with OH, which I think I actually put them at the bottom of this list alphabetically because there are so many. Yeah, they start at, at Aberdeen and they go all All the way down to Zanesville. How many are that? How many are that? That's right. How many are that? Um, let's take a look. How many Ohio? Yeah, look at this, right? This is crazy. Ohio has, this, you don't think, I mean, think of Ohio as a big state, but they have how many counties? That is 660 unique counties with rates that I got to verify to finish Ohio. So that's what's on my plate for the next video, um, because some, sometimes you can't even find like a good a good digital copy of the rates. But let's let's pray we can and we don't have to do them hand, by hand because that would stink. Although we could look for asterisks because usually they'll put an asterisk next to one that has changed, and that might provide enough for us for Ohio. But but we'll, this video is about New York, so New York rates are done in the file, and I hope um, if you need to understand how New York payroll. Uh, the elements that are involved with it, you'll understand it's paid family leave, state disability, it's a tax in a city potentially, and um, it's filling out the IT 2104. All right, good luck everyone. Payroll, we're making it easy, and we are making it so. In New York,